Olympics starts now. Using real-life settings, we put the weapons, everyday objects, and theories to the test, empowering you with the skills and knowledge you need to survive. Be a hero. Zombie go boom. Kick undead ass. Hello, friends. Welcome to our Apocalympic episode part two. Now, today we shall be testing out the homemade javelin that we have created utilizing the cold steel Bushman blade, also some duct tape, and the handle of a hoe that we broke in a previous episode, proving that even though something has lost its initial use, it can still be very usable in the near future. Right, now our main man, Charles Fox, will be taking this homemade javelin and tossing it right into this guy. Charles, why don't you tell me a little bit about your <laughs> technique? Uh, well, what you want to do is find the balance point of the mm -hmm. spear Quite. and then come back like one hand length, basically. Indubitably. Yeah. From the point. Quite right. And then throw it. Mm. All right, well, let's put this, uh, let's put this into practice, shall we? All right, man. That was a fantastic throw. Like, that is a fantastically dead zombie. Let's talk about what's great about this thing. Clearly, we put it together really well. I mean, this was homemade. Another wonderful thing is it's ranged. You don't have to worry about the blood splatter on you. If you're really good with it, like Charles is here, you can toss it from a distance and take out a target. Another wonderful thing is, and you'll see this in a minute, you can also use it for handheld range strikes. You can stab with it, you can swipe, and you have this much distance, essentially, if you're, uh, if you're, if you're really, if they're in capable hands. So, let's do that exact thing. Very nice. All right, well, let's first take a look at the stab we did. Straight into the eye. That was gorgeous. Look at that. That weakened it a little bit, but then he did a 45 degree angle on this side and just opened it up, and that is smooth. That is such a clean cut, man. That was absolutely gorgeous. Get it? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna try a decapitating blow. Nice! It took a couple. I'd say the first one was a success though. We still made it halfway through the spine. So I mean, if it's still going after all that, it's like dangling, not able to really see where it's going. Uh, and then that, that second one made really quick work dispatching this guy. Very good work, man. Thank you. Well, that does it for this second part of our Apocalympic episode. Now, the Bushman Spear that we created from Home Found Objects gets the CGB seal of approval, and it is proof that if you have the necessary items, you can make a very, very effective weapon. Now, all you need, though, to spend the money on is the head. And let's be quite honest, this is the most important part, so you may as well spend a little to get a lot out of it. Stick around for part three, where we will be testing a soccer ball, which again is not going to do anything, as well as a uh, football hooligan's uh, found weaponry, like a rolled up newspaper, that we will show you how to roll up to be as stiff as wood, and also a lock within a sock. That does it for this episode of Zombie Go Boom. I'm your host, Jim Goza. Happy hunting, mates.